The Agni Purana contains a fascinating section on the creation of the universe, Srishti, which aligns with the Puranic cosmology seen in other major texts like the Vishnu, Shiva, and Bhagavata Puranas, but with some unique insights. Here's a simplified retelling of that Srishti story as presented in the Agni Purana, a silent hermitage at dusk. The sacred fire glows bright. Sage Vashistha, seated in meditation, opens his eyes and addresses the fire before him. The flame glimmers and Lord Agni's voice emerges from within. Sage Vashistha, bowing reverently, asked, O Agni, purifier of all, you are the witness of beginnings and ends. Tell me, how did this vast universe come into being? Lord Agni, his voice calm, echoing through the flames, said, Listen, O wise sage, in the beginning there was nothing, no sky, no earth, no gods, no sound, only Brahman, the formless, eternal, silent one. Sage Vashistha asked again, If there was nothing, then from where did creation emerge? Lord Agni replied, From that one arose the Mahat Tattva, the seed of intelligence. From Mahat came Ahamkara, the sense of I. From Ahamkara, the five subtle elements were born, and from them, the five gross elements, ether, air, fire, water, and earth. Sage Vashistha, his eyes widening, and asked, And what of the gods? Of Vishnu, Brahma, and Shiva? Lord Agni said, From the cosmic womb of Brahman emerged the Trimurti. Vishnu, the preserver, lay upon the great cosmic ocean. From his navel blossomed a lotus, and upon it appeared Brahma, the creator, and Shiva, the eternal yogi, came forth as the force of dissolution to ensure balance. Vashistha asked again, How did life take shape? Lord Agni replied, Brahma created the Prajaptis, sages and Manus. They, in turn, created gods, demons, humans, beasts, birds, trees and rivers. Creation unfolded like a dream, repeating across endless kalpas, cycles of birth and dissolution. Vashistha folding his hands said, All that is, flows from the One and returns to the One. Lord Agni, flames rising softly said, Yes, O sage, just as you offer oblations into me, all forms are offered back into Brahman at the end. This is the truth of Srishti. The fire crackles softly. Sage Vashistha closes his eyes once again, lost in the silent rhythm of creation. The Agni Purana, an ancient Sanskrit text, presents a cosmological narrative that intriguingly parallels concepts in modern cosmology. Its descriptions resonate with several modern theories about the universe's origin, structure and cycles. The Agni Purana describes the universe emerging from a formless, unmanifested state, Brahman, leading to the creation of fundamental elements. This mirrors the Big Bang theory, which posits that the universe originated from an extremely dense and hot singularity, expanding to form all matter and energy. Before creation, there was neither being nor non-being. Darkness was hidden in darkness, says Agni Purana. This aligns with the Nasdya Sukta of the Rig Veda, which contemplates the universe's origin from a state of non-existence, paralleling the concept of a singularity preceding the Big Bang. The Agni Purana introduces the idea of cosmic cycles, kalpas, each lasting billions of years, encompassing creation, preservation and dissolution. Modern cosmology entertains similar notions through theories like the cyclic model and conformal cyclic cosmology proposed by physicist Roger Penrose, suggesting the universe undergoes infinite cycles of big bangs and big crunches. In Vedic literature, including the Agni Purana, there are references to multiple universes, each governed by its own deity. This concept resonates with the multiverse theory in modern physics, which hypothesize the existence of numerous universes beyond our observable one. The Agni Purana outlines the creation of the universe from five fundamental elements, Ether, Akash, 
एयर वायु फायर अग्नि वॉटर एंड अर्थ पृथ्वी वाइल सिम्बॉलिक दिस बियर्स रिजेंबलेंस टू द आइडिया इन पार्टिकल फिजिक्स दैट ऑल मैटर इज कंपोज ऑफ फंडामेंटल पार्टिकल्स एंड फोर्सेस प्रोमिनेंट साइंटिस्ट्स हैव एक्नॉलेज द डेप्थ ऑफ एंशियंट इंडियन कॉस्मोलॉजिकल कॉन्सेप्ट कार्ल सगन रिमार्क ऑन द वास टाइम स्केल्स इन हिंदू कॉस्मोलॉजी noting their similarity to modern scientific understanding of cosmic timelines j b s haldane a british indian scientist observed that the sequence of avatars in hinduism's dashvatara concept parallels the progression of evolutionary stages from aquatic life to human beings let's expand further with specific scientific theories notable scientists and published sources to strengthen the case that the agni purana far from being mere mythology offers a symbolic proto scientific cosmology that aligns surprisingly well with modern understanding the quantum vacuum and brahman agni purana begins with the concept of brahman the formless attributeless all pervading reality from which all creation emerges this resonates strongly with the idea of the quantum vacuum or zero point energy field in physics where the fabric of space time is not truly empty but seething with potentiality john archibald wheeler renowned physicist and colleague of einstein once said the universe begins not with a bang but with an idea this idea parallels brahman the potential field of existence the big bang and puranic emergence in modern cosmology time space energy and matter emerged from a singularity 13.8 billion years ago in the agni purana from brahman arose mahatatva that is intellect then ahamkara means ego then subtle elements leading to the gross elements a clear stepwise creation sequence the tatriya upanishad closely aligned with agni purana cosmology says from the atman came akash that is space from akash came vayu that is air from vayu came agni that is fire from agni came water from water came earth this is not random it is a sequence of states that closely mimics energy to matter transitions in modern physics cyclic cosmology ancient and scientific agni purana talks of kalpa the day of brahma that is 4.3 to billion years and pralaya cosmic dissolution a universe that is created and destroyed cyclically modern theories echo this roger penrose conformal cyclic cosmology posits infinite cosmic cycles each big bang follows a previous universe's collapse the ekpyrotic model from string theory proposed by neil turok and paul steinhart also suggests cyclic expansions and contractions roger penrose nobel prize 2020 wrote each aeon ends in a final smooth state which becomes the big bang of the next ancient indians had already imagined this eternal rhythm multiverse and hindu cosmology in the agni purana and bhagavata purana There are millions of universes ananta brahmandas each with its own brahma this is now paralleled in physics by the many worlds interpretation by hugh everett string theories multiple dimensional brain worlds max tegmark's mathematical universe hypothesis the agni purana with its language of symbol myth and intuition may not speak the language of modern labs yet it into its the same truths the universe had a beginning big bang is equal to brahman to mahat it evolves through laws dharma is equal to physics it undergo cycles kalpa is equal to cosmological models it has structure and rhythm not chaos perhaps ancient sages did not guess perhaps through meditation and intuitive cognition they accessed a dimension of understanding now being approached by modern science from the other end